dollies. I hope you all are having a great day. So today's review is going to be on a Tayang. It's been a while since we've done a Tayang review. I'm like super excited to do this review actually. So this review is going to be on Tayang Nosferatu, the vampire, I would say legend. <laughs> if not, I think he was the first vampire. But anyways, as always, I will give you all my honest opinion regarding this doll and give you any helpful information that I know regarding this release. So let's get started. So I am very excited to say that I was recently able to acquire him new in box through um, Groove's Rare Choice sale. So that is how I got this wonderful doll. So let's start by talking about his wig. So as you can see, his wig is silver in color and super duper long. Um, definitely past his hands. His wig quality, I would tell you now, it's not the best. It is um, pretty stiff and dry and frizzy, not the best quality. Um, there are no signs that I could see of the wig cap, or if you look closely, you kind of could see it, but it kind of blends in with the silver. And he does have a uh, part of his wig picked up, so that's why it's styled like this. And then his bangs in the front, they're pretty stiff and I don't want to touch them because I feel like the more I touch his wig, the frizzier it gets. So he does have his pretty bangs here. I'm trying not to like mess with it too much. Um, but I could tell you that I feel that this wig color actually does suit the theme of the doll quite nicely. Let's start by talking about now further on his face up so his face up let's talk about these beautiful striking blue slash silver icy blue eyes so if you look at his eyes they're two tone in the middle as a pupil area it is a blue like a i would say like a emerald blue color i would say and then the outer side outer part of the chip is a silver color and then the inside he has these two lines here that kind of remind me a little bit of a clock if that makes any sense whatsoever um, kind of like almost a little bit like steampunk kind of like clock or even like an old old school clock like in those old churches it kind of reminds me of that and very beautiful eye chips very unique and then his eyes as you can see the face up is pretty shadowy um, smoky silver to the top with also some brown here to the bottom and black um, to create more of that you know goth theme and very beautiful also um, has a cat eye on both of his eyes and when he closed his eyes let me do it his eyelid color is gray or silver with black eyeliner very very beautiful and let me see, he doesn't really have much of any like eyeshadow or anything like that, which I think his gray skin, it's, it's already enough as it is. Um, he does have these beautiful burgundy glossy lips. Um, I do want to let you know that already just off the bat that his skin complexion is extremely pale, more leaning toward the gray side. So if you're thinking he's like a pale tying, uh, Yes, but more I would say more on the gray leaning more toward the gray um, side Very 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 handsome So let us continue with the stock OMG. There is a lot going on here So I'm going to try my very best to explain Without losing some of the like important aspects. So as you can see he has this satin I would say well scarf but in reality, if you take this off, it's just like literally a piece of like fabric and you just tie it around his neck. Um, what I don't like about satin material that if it does get stuck or, you know, comes in contact with Velcro, it, it gets easily damaged. But it does look very nice. He does also have another one here. This is a silver one that's also tied around his neck, which I also believe you could take it off. And hanging from it is a pendant mine for whatever reason inside a box um, he was already missing the two blue um, stones that's supposed to be down there but in reality they're supposed to be um you know he's supposed to have five so it is missing two it, he just came out of the box i looked everywhere for them and they were not there so i just wanted to give you that side note they're glued on 
So that could explain why they were easily lost. Who knows how they got lost? But just wanted to let you know. Um, also made in satin. And then now let's start by talking about his white top underneath. So he does come with this long sleeve cotton lightweight shirt um, that is attached to what you see this old school um, ruffle top here with gold embellishments very nice and then the front is held by let me see them in the front yes it is held by velcro and then um, on top of this white top he does come with this black vest it is purposely uneven don't worry don't freak out be like what in the world happened it is purposely uneven and it is very unique because the inner side of it is um, pleather material let me see if I could like show you so the inside is pleather material and then the outside as you could see is black cotton material and like I said the right side yeah my right yeah my right <laughs> my right um it's longer with two chains here one to um the collar part right the collar part and then one down here and on the other side he has one side here on the short side okay oh my god and that's another thing his top part of his body is heavy which it's un it's explainable it makes sense because you know all of this stuff going on makes him really heavy so i'm like i have to be very careful he like falls forward um one thing i didn't mention i just noticed now that also his shirt has like this torn up tattered on purpose detailing to it just wanted to show you that for like a second before i forget um so yeah i would say his vest overall is great quality but I'm not quite sure, I will be honest and confess that to you all, I'm not quite sure that if one wants to take it off, how we could go about that, because I don't see a button or Velcro anywhere around here to do that, so let's not mess with it. <laughs> um, so, what else does he come with? He comes with, this, my, this is my favorite part, the sequin pants. You're thinking, why in the world would a vampire be having sequin pretty sparkly pants? I have no idea, but I love it, I live for things like this very beautiful great quality and they're like that all around and they're just very soft and lightweight and then he also comes with his shoes these plastic old school like french like shoes with let's not forget some long silver socks satin socks and then that's not it there's more to him you could style him like this, or you could also style him with his coat. So let me show you this separately, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this. So he comes with this beautiful coat. So on the outside, you could see it's like an olive green, bronzy color. There is that sheen to it. Um, so if you move it, you see the color changes very nice. And then we have these buttons here that are stitched on. I like that they're not glued on so they're not gonna fall off easily and he has them on both sides and then he does have this color does it get up does it stay up is it like a wire not really but it is very beautiful very nicely made and then the inside is burgundy very nicely very nicely made one of the things though I just want to let, let you know this um, coat comes with this um you could take this off i'm like i'm gonna figure how in the world i'm gonna put this on so this sleeve is detachable you could take it off i'm assuming that the way that you put this on the doll see it's like falling off every time i touch it i'm assuming the way that you put this is that once you put on the coat you take out his you detach his right hand and then try to put this over i'm letting you know it's looking like that's going to be tough because this is pretty thin and as you could see there are some on um, purpose holes on them here to make it look like it's been torn up. It's the, you know, the style they went with. It looks cool. And then we have the tool down here. But how practical is this? I'm not sure. So we'll see 
how that works out but I do want to I wanted to bring that to your attention so you don't have to put it on but I just want to let you know that this does come with the stock he also does come with skeleton gloves which are made out of that pleather material the um, skeleton hands are I would tell you printed on itself I'm not sure if I'm going to put these on him and the reason why I say that is because if you look at the hole it is like itty bitty I'm not sure how Taeyang's hand is going to fit in this maybe we could try it on camera because the hole realistically looks more to fit a pull up as opposed to a Taeyang look at this craziness it's this is unrealistic like how we're we gonna put his hand in here look at this <laughs> oh yeah let's put his glove on like this and I'm scared that if we force it in there I could like literally tear up the uh, two things could happen I tear up the glove or I stretch out the print so much of the hands right that it's gonna crack and it's gonna get all messed up but I do want to show that to you that the whole of this glove is not really not really practical for a tying so i'm not sure if he's going to be rocking that anytime soon besides that he also comes with what vampires need to come with of course his fangs which i like because they included two different colors we, they included the red and the white which is right here i don't know if you can see it these are the white fangs and then it tells you the instructions here i believe is in korean but here tells you in english it gives you some bit of advice it says you may use double face adhesive tape to put on the fangs please be careful not to make scars or marks on the doll's face when you put them on if you leave those on for too long there's a possibility to leave marks on the doll's face so they're telling you so we'll think about this this is something else i'll think about and he also comes i know you're like what he also comes with a beautiful beautiful fake flowers roses that he's gonna hold and seduce his victims okay i'm just kidding but yes he does come with them and he looks romantic and beautiful and they're just quality wise they look like you know um fake flowers great quality the stem is wired um so you could fold it if you want i really wouldn't recommend it but he does come with that and last but not least he comes with his collector card he is so hot he is handsome for a doll isn't he and then that's basically let me make sure i didn't miss anything i didn't miss anything that's basically it so how what do you think about him like i honestly okay let's talk about pros and cons because you know i like to do this so pros what i really do like about this doll is that he comes with a lot of things that you could style him in so many different ways he, like he's not a boring doll at all he's different different from other releases so i really do appreciate dolls that um give you that ability to style them in different ways to dress them up in different ways and this is one of them and especially as a tie-in like you don't see a lot of those i love it i'm super happy about that um he was just very nicely made overall i could tell you the quality of his stock is like spot on so i really can't say anything really that much negative um regarding his stock i think um constructive criticism would be the gloves like i was mentioning and um a little bit of work oh my god how funny it fell off see the moment i put it down a little bit of work on this sleeve thing that we have going on here how we're gonna put this on I have no idea does it even look like you could put it around his hand again just like the gloves look how thin let's do this on camera look how small this hole is oh my god see well there is a little bit of stretch so maybe is realistic yeah it's realistic but you got to be very careful but thing is it's realistic without the coat how realistic is going to be when you put on the coat and then try to put this on top i don't know because again that's already a lot of space being occupied so i don't know and then yeah like i was mentioning it purposely does have these little holes so yeah constructive criticism i don't know how <laughs> practical this is um what else 
the the quality of his wig, eh. But again, that's something that we see quite often these days, um, and even back in the day too. Um, but overall, those are my my cons, I guess. But I think the the pros overweight the cons. I actually do recommend him. So if you could get your uh, hands on him, I think you'd be very happy. The difficult thing about this doll is finding him. So um, story time. Long story short, I've been trying to get this doll for years, and every time I'm like, yes finally that I'm gonna get this doll it never seems to work out for whatever reason the seller sells them sells the doll to somebody else for some reason the seller then decides not to want to sell them anymore for whatever reason the seller um, does not have them complete and it's just like uh, and I'm I was kind of like hoping to get him complete I was another thing why I just didn't jump at the first one that I saw so as soon as he popped up at Groom, I was like, OMG, I couldn't even like form words. I went to my husband and he's like, what the hell, what the heck is wrong with you? For whatever reason, he understood and then you know the rest. So I could tell you, I am very happy to have him, super duper happy. Um, like I said, if you could get your hands on him, I would recommend it. Um, he is beautiful and hot and all of that all at once especially if you're a goth and you like vampire themed dolls and you're a horror fan you would absolutely love him so that's basically it i hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any questions please don't hesitate and let me know and i will see you all in the next one okay bye bye